The Ohio Bobcats came today's contest against the Eastern Michigan Eagles looking to snap a nine game losing streak, but could not do so despite a 22-6 run in the second half, eventually losing 64-57. The Bobcats started out the first half in one of their best offensive displays of the max season. Five minutes into the ball game, only facing a deficit of 11 to 10. A three-pointer by Aaron Bales at the 14-19 mark would give Ohio a 13-11 lead. One of the six lead changes in the ball game, as well as two times that the score was tied. Eastern Michigan would end the half on a mini run of their own, and going into the halftime, the scoreboard would read 35-28 in favor of Eastern Michigan. A perfectly manageable deficit for the Bobcats. However, they were outscored in the paint 20 to four, and adjustment would need to be made. They were also outscored in fast break points 12 to nothing. In the second half, Eastern Michigan would try to pull away from the Bobcats and put this game on ice. Ohio faced a 16-point deficit at the 12-minute mark, 49-33, edge Eastern Michigan. But Ohio would show some resiliency that Bobcat fans haven't seen in quite some time. In the final nine minutes of the ballgame, Ohio would go off on an eight-minute, 22-6 scoring run that would close the gap to two points. That would be as close as Ohio would get it. However, as in the final minute of the ballgame, EMU would go on a five-point swing on a crazy play in the final free throw of the game as Desiree Thomas would miss the free throw, get her own rebound, and then hit the putback layup to preserve Eastern Michigan's lead over Ohio 64-57 and give the Eagles their fourth MAC win. On the day, the Eagles shot 47.5% from the floor, 36.4% from beyond the arc, and outscored Ohio 38-10 in the paint. But there are some good signs with Ohio outscoring EMU on bench points 21-8 and with two players in double figures, Mariah Byard and Aaron Bales. Byard dropped 14 points on 5-7 shooting and an efficient 4-6 from downtown. Meanwhile, Aaron Bales led the way for Ohio with 19 points, 7 of 15 shooting from the floor, and 50% from beyond the arc, 5 of 10 from three-point land. The Bobcats have the week off before turning to action next Saturday as they face off against Western Michigan. Oh, and don't forget, it's a Bobcat blackout. For the Bobcat Sports Showcase, I'm Tyler Austin.